Holy shit. I thought it looked like you. But I didn't think you were actually stupid enough to sneak in here. Uh uh uh. Shh. You don't want the others hearing us, do you? After all, I don't think it's an invitation you're hiding in that holster of yours. And I'm sure you can imagine what they do to party crashers here. Well, if you'd like to take that as a threat, you can. But honestly, I'm just concerned about your safety. It's a fucking miracle you haven't been caught so far. Even without some nefarious vampire recognizing you and ringing the dinner bell. Although... Ooh. Oh, clever letter hunter. Where is it? The vampire blood, of course. Don't play dumb. Considering where you are right now, you really don't need the help on that front. Hold still. Damn it. I'm just trying to. There we go. Was that so hard? Mm hmm. Yeah, shut up. It's a pretty clever little trinket. Keeps the scent in the air and the blood fresh at the same time. Too clever for you to have come up with. Who built this for you? Oh, come on. You can tell me. I don't bite. Fine. I'll figure it on my own. Gotta say, as clever as it is, it's not foolproof. It covers your scent just fine for the most part. But this close. This close, I could smell the real you underneath. I'll admit, my sweet tooth has me biased. I might have preferred you without the air freshener around your neck. Well, I haven't decided yet. By all rights, I should turn you in. You're my enemy, after all. And I still haven't gotten you back for stabbing me during our last scuffle. Do you have any idea how long it takes to heal a punctured lung? And then again, I don't really like sharing. And as fun as it would be to watch you get passed around until the light finally leaves your eyes, I don't think it would be better than drinking you down all by myself. Anyway, why are you even here? There's a lot of risk to be taking for one lone hunter in a mall room full of vampires. And the hors d'oeuvres, of course, but at this point, I think most of them are preoccupied with more pressing issues than helping you if you get backed into a corner. Oh, well that makes sense. I still don't see how you're planning to get them alone, though. The host usually spends the whole soiree mingling and socializing. Unless this is a suicide mission. In which case, I'm just surprised you're not over there throwing yourself at them already. <laughs> well, you would have a comprehensive plan for sneaking in and no idea what to do when you get here. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal I can get you time with your target, you just have to do me one teensy favor. Oh come on, what's a couple of pints between friends? It is that kind of sharp razor wit that makes us such close companions. I so do love your sense of humor. Your taste in comedy is impeccable. I never made a putt in my life and I resent the implication. Come on. What other options do you have? What other options do you have? It's not certain death to let me have a little snack. You'll barely miss it. Hmm, well, either you trust me this once, or you take your chances with every other vampire in here. Excellent, hold still. Yes, now, relax. I'm not even going to drink you yet. I just need you bleeding. No shit it'll out you as a human. How else am I going to get you close enough for your little assassination attempt? Don't get me wrong, your strategy worked just fine to get you in here safely. But I'm helping you now. 
You can pull off playing the victim with a vampire in your corner, and if you want the Marquise alone and underestimating you, this is a much better ploy. Don't overthink it. I'm helping you because I'm bored, and I never really liked the Marquise anyway. Now hand over your trinket. I promise I'll give it back right away. Cross my heart, hope to die. This really is amazing work. It's Vilde who made it, right? It has to be. You know I'm just going to keep guessing if you don't tell me. Fine, but I'm going to keep hounding you after we get out of here. And button your shirt. You're not going to pass as a party favor unless you show a little more neck. Jesus Christ, you're slow. Here, just let me. There. Done. Was that so hard? Fuck you too, Cupcake. Try not to flinch. I'm not aiming for anything vital. But squirming won't help either of us here. Ah! Mmm, there. The perfect picture of disheveled dessert. Of course it hurt. It's teeth puncturing your skin. If I'm not putting you under, it's gonna sting like a bitch. Speaking of, give me your best vacant stare. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Have you ever considered an acting career? Actually, you'd be surprised how few vampires there are in Hollywood. There's a good handful, sure, but the scrutiny is too much for most people to be able to slip in and out seamlessly. Especially with how far technology's come. Fine, I'll stop the small talk. Just hold that entranced look and try to keep your breathing even. You ready, Cupcake? Okay, let's go.